Hello and welcome back to this channel. Dear students, this topic is gun diodes. From the exam point of view, you may expect the question like this. Explain the operating principle of gun diode or draw a two value model and explain the operation of a gun diode. Or the question may be like this. What are the different, different operating modes of a gun diode? So in this session, we'll discuss all these relevant points. Actually, gun diode is a type of device which is called TED, Transferred Electron Devices. Such devices are the devices in which there are no junctions or gates, but the, it operates with the warm electrons. EBAR stands for electrons. So such a device is called Transferred Electron Devices, TED. And a good example of TED is a gun diode. As an example, uh, to explain this two value structure, I have considered the material which is gallium arsenide. So <clears throat> this is a gallium arsenide material. We know that there are two major bands. One is valence band and conduction band. Whenever electrons are there in the conduction band, then they produce the conductivity. They are free uh, to cause the conduction and because of which the current starts flowing through the circuit. Now, this is the band gap structure, band structure of gallium arsenide material. This lower part, this lower line indicates a balance band. I mean, below this, everything will be under the balance band. This is the border line of conduction band. So above this, there will be the conduction band. Now, in the conduction band, there are different values. We are interested in two values. One is called central value, which is at this point. And another is called a satellite value, which is shown by this type of curve with the black ink. Actually, this central valley <coughs> is at 1.43 electron hold from this valence band. Now, they, there is a conduction band which is starting at this point. That means uh, from the central valley. There are there is a specific width of this conduction band which is 0.36 electron hold. That means you may say like this, there are six conduction band between these uh, uh, levels and the topmost conduction band, which is starting from this point, there are six conduction band. Topmost conduction band is, is at the energy level 1.79 EV electron hold. Now, this line curved line shows the structure of satellite valley. So the lower portion in the conduction band is the central valley, top portion is the satellite valley. You can say this top portion is the satellite valley. Now, the conduction electrons shifts from high to low mobility states whenever electric field is applied. Do remember this sentence. This is very important. Whenever the electrons conduct, when electrons are conducting, they can shift from high to low mobility states due to the application. So due to the application of electric field. Now, if E bar, that is electron, is in the lower valley, do remember lower valley is the central valley, upper valley is the satellite valley. So if electron is in the lower valley, then effective mass of that electron is small, but it is having high mobility on the another side. If electron is in the upper valley, that is in the satellite valley, then effective mass will be large and it is having low mobility. There is one equation of the velocity, rather drift velocity, Vd, which is equals to mu into E. E is the applied electric field, mu is the mobility. The conductivity is given by J is equals to N, where N is the density of electrons, E charge of electron, Vd is this velocity. So we can write the equation of density as N E mu E. Now, under normal conditions, whenever electric field is not applied, whenever electric field is zero, in that case, almost all electrons are in the central valley. Whenever electric field is applied, then the photons are generated. Because of these generated photons, uh, these electrons which are present in the central valley absorbs these energy lines, absorbs the photons and due to increasing their energy, they will start shifting towards the upper side. So the current will start increasing. Now, whenever they are shifting in the upper side, 
as you go on increasing the applied electric field a peak point is reached but after that point the velocity goes on reducing so whenever the no, there is no electric field at that time almost all electrons are in the central valley whenever electric field is applied and it will, if you go on increasing the applied electric field the number of electrons absorbs photon absorbs energy and will start shifting in the upper portion that means they will try to reach into the satellite valley after some time almost all electrons ideally will reach up to the satellite valley but as you go on increasing the electric field beyond that point, then the velocity starts reducing. This particular region gives us the region of negative resistance. So this is about the working principle of a gun diode. Now we'll discuss two important operating regions of this gun diode. Actually, this is the graph of velocity of electrons VD versus applied electric field E. Initially, uh, whenever electric field is zero at that time almost we discussed that almost all electrons are in the central valley So electrons are available in the central valley initially as you go on increasing E that is applied electric field Velocity goes on increasing in this region. So this velocity is mu 1 rather mu That is mobility of electrons into E is applied electric field this particular portion up to this point this this value is called uh, three electric uh, threshold value or threshold value of electric field so from zero right from the beginning up to 80 this portion in which the velocity goes on increasing with increase in applied electric field is called ohmic region but as i said there is a particular limit up to which the velocity increases once the value of electric field reaches ET threshold level then velocity decreases this particular portion in which VD is written as mu E bar it is bar which indicates that the velocity is reducing this is called negative differential region so in the negative differential region after ET that is after threshold value velocity goes on reducing the existence of drop in the mobility with increasing electric field E bar decreases or or creates sorry creates negative conduction so this is the effect of negative conduction this effect depends on the bulk properties of the semiconductor and it is not dependent on the junction next part is different modes of operation of a gun diode so these are some important modes of operation of a gun diode first is oscillator mode Actually, this is the primary mode of operation of the gun diode. In this case, the micro energy is generated. Whenever the uh, voltage is applied, then electric field creates high electron mobility region and because of which the oscillation starts taking place. This is the oscillatory mode. Second is transit time mode. We know that transit time is the time required for the motion of electrons. So there is one term related to this which is called sustaining velocity and sustaining velocity of gallium arsenide is 10 raised to 7 centimeter per second. Whenever this drift velocity becomes equal to or equal to the sustaining velocity, uh, then the transit time of motion of electrons decides the operating frequency. The diode in this mode, the diode acts as an microwave amplifier or, or an oscillator. Third is delayed domain mode. As the name indicates, in this mode, certain kind of delay is provided. So for the given length of gallium arsenide material, the velocity at which the domain is collected, actually this velocity increases and this velocity <coughs> is under the condition applied electric field is less than the threshold value. So for a given length of this material, gallium arsenide material, the velocity at which the domain is collected, this velocity gets increased. Thus, the transit time decreases because of increase in velocity. Efficiency in this mode is typically around 20%. <coughs> Next is quenched domain mode. In this case, high field domain is formed. It travels through the device causing the oscillations of current. Applied electric field is reduced below the sustaining uh, value for the negative half cycle. So the domain is collapsed before reaching to the anode and whenever positive half cycle occurs, the process repeats. The last type of mode is LSA mode. 
in this mode high field domain is not created the doping is done in such a way that the space charge layer will not get sufficient time to build up the oscillations <clears throat> so the oscillating frequency is decided by the external circuit so this is about the different operating modes of the gun dial so dear students that's it for today's session so thank you thanks a lot for watching this video